I'm Dr. Leslie Christensen from the McFarland Clinic in Ames, Iowa. As a mom and a dermatologist, I know how important it is to protect our children from the damaging rays of the sun and yet really enjoy some summer fun. My daughter Evie and I are going to show you some simple steps of how to do good sun protection so that you are ready to enjoy the day. Choosing the right sunscreen can easily be overwhelming. When you show up at the store to purchase your sunscreen, there's usually a wall of choices. The most important things to remember when you're choosing a sunscreen is this. Number one, it needs to be an SPF or a sun protection factor of 30 or higher. We used to always say 15, but we really do want it to be 30 or higher. You'll hear that when it gets higher than 30, you're actually not getting much more protection. Um, and so an SPF of 50 or 100 maybe doesn't give that much more protection. Actually, it still does because many of us don't put on enough. And so when we don't put on enough, that sun protection factor number comes down. So at least get a 30 or higher. The next thing is you want it to block UVA and UVB rays or be a complete blocker. Those are very important. It used to be we thought only the UVB rays were the damaging rays or the bad rays or the burning rays, but we've learned that the UVA rays are also very damaging and they're the ones that actually do a lot of the aging process to our skin. The third thing is that it's nice to have it waterproof. Um, many of us, when we're out in the sun, we're sweating, we're rubbing it off, and you need to be aware of that. They come in lotions, creams, gels, sprays, sticks, um, even foams. What it comes in, the vehicle it comes in, is not necessarily that important. It's just finding the one that's best for you. When many of us apply sunscreen, we put a quarter size in the palm of our hand and we cover ourselves with that. One to two fluid ounces is the volume of an egg. And you can see that we're many of us putting on much too little. The other thing to remember, is that in this bottle of sunscreen, there is 7.5 fluid ounces. So if I'm telling you to put one to two fluid ounces on for each application, this bottle is gonna last you at most about eight applications. And I have many patients asking me if they can use the same bottle from last year. That means we're just not putting enough on. When we're putting sunscreen onto the face, we start under the eyes. Want to get a good coat there. How many times have you pictured children and they've got that sunburn right underneath their eyes? So we put it right there. We completely cover the nose. And then I always go to the ears and get those ears. I remove lots of skin cancers from right in front of ears and even behind them. So those are important places not to forget. I get the upper eyelids as well. My children like to take it from there, so I kind of do those important areas that are kind of hard for them to get, and then they like to be able to apply it to their cheeks, but when I apply it to cheeks, we go thickly, <laughs> don't we, Evie? We make sure we cover every little bit so there's no streaks. We get the chin and the forehead. We'd make sure we had it all covered. Sometimes you can kind of rub it in after you've used your stick. But that's good for the face. Now, when you apply a spray to the face, don't spray your child. That's just in the eyes and the nose and everything. So what we do for that is we actually just spray it right into our hand, get a good puddle of sunscreen, rub it in, and then we apply that to the face. Now you don't necessarily have to layer the stick and then the spray, but this is just showing you how to apply more of a spray to the face. <laughs> when applying a spray to the body, what we do is just hold your hand out here, Evs. Hold your arm out. We spray and then rub that in. Many times we don't think we have to rub it in, but you still wanna rub it Make sure you cover it all. Okay, another spray and rub that in. Good job. So we get the arms, then we get the legs. Get the front, rub that in. Don't forget the top of the feet. You can see Evie went right down for her feet. That's a common place to get a sunburn. We turn around, there and there. And then mommy rubs the back. That's right, and then I rub the back. 
Now even if they have a swim shirt on or you've got a t-shirt on, many times when we bend over, there's a classic burn strip right there on our low back. So it is still important to kind of spray that. Oh, did I surprise you? <laughs> to spray that and rub that in as well. Another important place not to forget, easy to forget in a girl with long hair, would be the back of the neck. You don't want to forget that, so you'd want to apply some sunscreen there too, okay? After the sunscreen's been applied, we still recommend that you cover yourself with protective clothing. evie has got an SP, a UPF of 50 in her, in her swimsuit, and she's covered with a shirt instead of a bikini top. Next thing that the American Academy of Dermatology recommends is a good hat and sunglasses to protect those eyes. And then we're ready to head out. The incidence of skin cancer is increasing at an astronomical level. Some people say it's an epidemic. One in five Americans will have a non-melanoma skin cancer, and many may even have a melanoma. We want to have many fun summer days. So protect yourself so that that can happen. Be smart and have fun in the sun.